Hello everyone, my name is Maya O'Brien, and in this demo, I'll walk through how you can visualize social distancing analysis on an indoor map, develop space plans that meet social distancing requirements, and allow employees to reserve safe workspaces when they come back to the office. We'll start by looking at the Indoor Viewer, a web application that lets you visualize data for your facilities on indoor floor plan maps. These maps give you a central system of record for your facilities. Here, I'm looking at a map of the Esri campus. By selecting a specific building, I can get an interior view of the floor plan. I can toggle between floors and see every office and cubicle in the building. The indoor viewer can also incorporate other types of data. For example, you can use analysis tools in ArcGIS Pro to analyze social distancing parameters, then visualize the results in the viewer. Here, we've generated a six-foot buffer around open cubicles in the marketing wing, shown in blue. This represents the minimum social distancing zone needed for employees to safely occupy each cubicle. We've also highlighted areas where these zones overlap, shown in red. This lets us see which cubicles have social distancing conflicts. Using these results from the social distancing analysis, we can make decisions about how to reassign employees to make sure everyone has a safe workspace. To do this, we'll use Indoor Space Planner, a web application that lets you use indoor maps and data to visualize and manage space use throughout your facilities. Like the Indoor Viewer, I can bring the results of my analysis into Space Planner to help develop space plans that support social distancing. By highlighting the area above these cubicle clusters, I can see that I have a number of employees assigned to spaces with social distancing conflicts that I'll want to reassign to meet safety guidelines. I'll start by unassigning these individuals from their cubicles. I then can start to quickly reassign employees to make sure there's only one person per cubicle cluster. I can do this by dragging and dropping their names onto the desired cubicles in the map. In a short time, I can have a space plan that will allow these employees to maintain physical distance from their colleagues. In some cases, social distancing guidelines may require us to operate at less than our typical maximum workspace capacity. One way we can accommodate this is by setting aside safe offices and cubicles as office hotels that employees can reserve on days they need to be in the office. Next week, all of our marketing employees are going to move to a staggered schedule. Many of these employees were assigned to conflicting cubicles, so we'll need to provide them with other workspace arrangements. We'll do this by creating an office hotel. By selecting Add, I can create a new hotel area. Next, we can select every cubicle in this wing and assign them all to our marketing office hotel. Then, to ensure our employees only reserve the safest cubicles, keeping in mind our social distancing analysis data, we can add or remove cubicles from the office hotel as needed. By doing this, we've identified a set of eight cubicles that our marketing team can reserve when they come into work. Now, let's take a look at the experience of reserving a workspace in an office hotel. By using the ArcGIS Indoors mobile application, a member of our marketing team can quickly find and reserve an office hotel in a few simple steps. First, they'll tap the Hotel button, where they can specify desired dates, space type, as well as hotel area. This will provide a list of all available offices that meet that description. Second, they'll select an office and the app will zoom to the office location. Third, they'll select book and confirm the booking details. The reservation will be confirmed with an email and they'll be ready to come back to work. In three steps, they've reserved their safe workspace. 
Lastly, if need be, they can also reserve a conference room directly from the ArcGIS Indoors mobile application. By quickly locating a conference room and selecting Schedule, they can view conference room availability and add a new calendar event. The app syncs the appointment with their Outlook calendar, reserving the conference room, and notifying all attendees of the meeting. In this demo, we analyzed our office space to understand social distancing conflicts. We then resolved these conflicts in the Indoor Space Planner, and then walked through the experience of an employee reserving a safe workspace in preparation for returning to the office.